Hi, in this video, I will continue to create my object for my uh, bookstore management uh, system. Uh, last video, uh, we created the uh, table, author table. In this video, we will create uh, book tables. Let me show you. Uh, this is the table definition. So we created author table. Now we will create uh, DMR book table. DMR book table has a uh, book ID title and author ID, which is for in key for DMR author table. Let's start. Uh, first, I need to add a, a edit. So I create. <laughs> I will create a DMR book ID edit. So let's type string and I'm choosing this one and I edit. I'm going to properties and some setting up. labels and it, it's ready for use and I am going back to my solution and at near item uh, this time I will add a table uh, which is <coughs> DMR book table Let's copy that and add <coughs> My table is created uh, and I will add fields. Uh, first, uh, DMR book ID, and I'm deleting the DMR because there are DMR uh, in table's name. Uh, what else? Uh, title. So I add new string field. Title and properties. I am choosing the extent data type disk. Description. Sorry. Description. It's, it's enough right now. So last field is a DMR author ID and I am dragging it also and removing this. If uh, it's everything all right, uh, it will automatically add a relation to this one, but right now it's not added. So I will add a relation uh go to properties and this this relation is <laughs> with dmr author table let's rename it and i will add new relation uh, related field First, I choose author ID and this field author ID. As you can see, I uh, connect uh, DMR book table author ID to DMR author table author ID. And my table is uh, ready, uh, but I need to set up some uh, properties and I need to add index uh, for this table of course so let's add a new index <laughs> book idx uh, most probably this uh, table look up uh, with uh, book id so i add, add, add uh, this index and uh, maybe 
uh, most of the time I need uh, author's book so I need uh, author index also maybe uh, so let's add <coughs> author ID index okay uh, this allow duplicate no and this allow duplicate no it's not true so let's choose allow duplicate yes because uh, one author uh, probably have multiple books but book is uh, the primary key for this table so let's choose alternative key yes this is enough also I need to establish some field properties. For example, book ID is mandatory and allow edit on create yes, but allow edit is no because it's a, it's a key. Also, author ID is mandatory for me. Okay. <coughs> Let's uh, look at the table properties. I need to uh, set up a label book table and of course title fields. And title uh, cash lookup. This is also a main table for me because of that it can be found and primary key book ID. Also, cluster keys, uh, book ID, table group is main, and um, these are enough right now. Okay, we stop, we set up the properties properly. It's ready for use right now. Let's uh, build the solution. Of course, uh, I add a new table, so I need to synchronize with database uh, when it's finished. Uh, I'm waiting for uh, build to finish. After uh, the build, I will synchronize with uh, database and uh, it will ready for uh, opening. Let me just look at three D. Okay, now is ready to synchronize. I start synchronization and I think it's finished. Let's look at the book table. I can uh, open table browser okay my table uh, opened so let's uh, just enter a new record I am selecting author from my author table uh, let's select Daniel and the book ID let's the zero zero one and title the call code. Let's see. Okay, uh, we created two table. We uh, link uh, with uh, relation with foreign key relation, and we easily. Uh, we easily uh, enter new data to these tables. Uh, of course, uh, lots of uh, other properties and lots of specification for tables, especially deletions and rela uh, relation indexes, etc. I will uh, I will talk about uh, them also uh, in other videos. Uh, I hope uh, this will help you and see you. Bye.